So the other day something miraculous happened and I actually had two or three minutes of spare time. So I did what any of us would have did and I hopped right on TikTok. Well two hours later I looked at my watch, holy crap, I'm wasting my life away. But then I realized it was all worth it when I saw this. I thought to myself, what a coinky dink. I just got this brand new pair of black jeans. I just felt like they were missing something. <laughs> Not to mention, I just discovered airbrushing with bleach a few videos ago. <laughs> Dude. And then to see this video right here. Hmm. So today, I'm gonna give this viral TikTok art trend. Is it a trend? Yeah. A go. But I'm gonna do it my way with the airbrush and bleach. Then we're gonna color it. I feel like that'll look more sicker. Look it up, it's a word, it's words. Let's get started. All right, I got my jeans. I did, what did I do with those jeans? Oh crap, I'm still wearing them. So I got my jeans. I got this brand new fancy airbrush that I just took out of the box. I don't even know if it works, but instead of gravity feed at the top, it's got this cute little bottle that goes on the bottom. There, nice and snug. It's got a protective cap for the end and oh, it does work. Oh, oh there it goes. Ha! Let's bleach through the air. Nice and safe. So while I go get a mask, I'm gonna lay these out and change your angle for optimal viewing pleasure. Cause I think about you first. Besides, I gotta try to get you to watch the whole thing, okay? Or else YouTube thinks it's garbage. <laughs> I'm serious, I do. Oh, and if you're wondering about this beautiful rendition of a drippy smiley facey, I did this live on TikTok, but uh, I have a problem with consistency. If you wanna buy it, make me an offer. You know, it's a size large. Same as this shirt. Let's keep moving. All right, to plan out my lightning bolts, to match the picture, sorta, I noticed that they don't go past the middle here, so I'm just gonna put a piece of tape, some of bleach. Don't go over there. You just get yourself out of the way, leg. So I can control the bleach with my airbrush. I'm just showing you guys this to give you another safe option. We're gonna do this pocket right here. So I figured why not? One more piece should do it. So I noticed in the video, whatever side had the lightning bolts on it, the same side on the back did, but the opposite pocket. So we're gonna do that too, like this. There we go, all taped up, ready to go. Okay, my advice is just start doodling and squiggling some lines. Lightning is organic, don't try to overthink it. And sure, you could draw your lines on if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna go for it. And don't forget to wear your respirator. Safety first. You wanna live to do more cool experiments, don't you? Well, don't be a dummy. All right, we're just gonna start with this little pocket up here, up top, cause it's really insignificant. And if you screw up, you learn to move on to the good stuff. Today, Junior! <laughs> All right, now that you got a good feel for that, it's time to move on to the big leg. I mean, you know, just the part of the leg there. Anyway, okay, so the first step is gonna be the bleach step, and it's gonna be like the background, wider, glowier looking layer. My suggestion would be get you some reference pictures, find some lightning that you like, and look at them. You're gonna wanna be quite liberal with this, and pull back that trigger. Don't be scared of that bad boy. And you wanna probably drink like 10 cups of coffee, so you're real jittery and shaky. The shakier, the better and more realistic the lightning will look. So just get the front to your liking for the first layer and then do the same thing on the back. Don't forget the butt pocket. It's where everybody will be staring. When you're satisfied with your lightning base layer, give that tape a quick rip with the band-aid, <laughs> hit it with a spritz of peroxide, and throw them bad boys in the washing machine. And then drive. And I'll see you back here in a second. I drive an old Ford pickup Oh! Oh, you're already recording. Okay, well, I'm back. I got my jeans from the dryer. Everything looks bright, white, fresh. I mean, that turned out sick. What do you think? All right, so when I went to get the blue out of the drawer, cause that'd be the next layers, but then right beside it, so beautifully paired together was this fluorescent pink and sort of purple. I was like, oh. And I thought, that'll look way better than blue, even though blue is my favorite color. <gasps> but I was thinking, I'd rather see that and see what that looks like. Cause look, you glowing black lights and everything. You'd be the head of the club or wherever you wear these two, I don't know. So I'm gonna put the middle color first in my airbrush and I'm gonna do it over the whole thing. And then for the darker parts on the edges, give more like a little glowy fade out. I'm gonna do this maybe, but for the really hot, this and then white. This thing's gonna look like it's a neon lightning strike glowing. And oh, I'm excited. Put this in the airbrush and go. All right, so I'm starting with my medium color out of the three, and this is an opaque color. So I thinned it down, reduced it 
a little extra so that it would be transparent. All right, with this side done, we'll flip it over and do the other side. All right, so we got our pink done. It looks absolutely beautiful. And after fighting with two airbrushes, finally decided to hook this thing up. The other two airbrushes were Ben Buttheads. The one of them was really expensive. And the other one was a $30 one. And they both acted exactly the same. I literally haven't used a siphon feed before other than doing the bleach with this. So, spoiled little brats. But we got white in here and maybe this airbrush will do great. A little infinity point zero from Amazon also, so we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is just do my little lightning strikes. The little hot lightning spots in the middle. Here, come here, get a little closer and look at this. All right, so we'll get you some real good up close detail. Try to be as shaky, don't try to be smooth. I had to make myself shake just now. Pull back on the trigger pretty hard. You want the white to be pretty heavy. I gotta remember to try to be as jaggedy as possible, not try to go so straight and smooth. And you don't have to follow the line you already did. You can go up, down, go a different direction, back and forth, and where they hit together, blow a little hot spot. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. That is killing it. One cool thing to do is there are parts like this where they like get real hot there. They kind of taper off, just get a little sap point and even split it if you want like legit lightning. Boom, how cool is that? If you notice right there, I went out of the white line onto the black and honestly, kind of sells the illusion that much more. So be as picky as you want, take as long as you want. It's actually one of those things again that's just fun and therapeutic. Even if you're doing it for somebody else at the end of the day, it's your art and you're doing it for you. Because if you don't enjoy it and if you don't like get excited about it, it's gonna show, it's gonna look like garbage. So boom, that's looking sick. That's hot already, golly. I'm just gonna keep going and see how far I push it. Okay, now honestly, I'm super stoked. It legit looks like lightning and it looks stinking amazing, but I just can't help myself but to wonder what if, just maybe, a little bit of this beautiful pearlized purple on the edges just on the edges, just so it looks, whew, I just, I can't help myself. I gotta, I gotta find out, I gotta know. And if you have these thoughts and these visions and you just settle for good enough, you'll get by, but you'll never know how far you could go. That sets you apart from the average Joe Blow who's just getting by also. So I'm gonna do it and you're gonna watch it, please. So uh, in my mind, it works, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna try it, give it a whirl, and that makes me happy. You should be happy with your art. Let's go. All right, so I'm not going to show you, but I did try the purple and I tried it on the pocket in a conspicuous spot where if I didn't like it that much, it wouldn't be that big a deal. And turns out I didn't really like it. It took away from the pink and it's really sparkly. So it also takes away from the contrast of the black. And I just think it's, it's okay for some things, but for this, I feel like it's too much. So I did this back pocket. You can see a little bling blingy, a little purple haze. And also did the front pocket just to coordinate just so, hey, that's what I did, did the pockets. So now what I'm gonna do, sign my name on this back pocket right here so that, cause you know, everybody looks at the booty. So I swear I have my name and they'll be like, oh, Tay did that, sweet. I am the one, the way you're they probably don't care, but their eyes are gonna be there anyway. Cause these jeans are, they're not fire, they're lightning. <laughs> sign my name. Don't screw it up, just kidding. Boom, there you go, done deal. <laughs> These turn out ridiculously good. And to be honest, pink, blue, green, who cares? That's just really sick, that's so dope. Plus I signed it, you got sparkly pockets. <laughs> what? because the purple, I didn't like it for the whole thing, but for the pockets, I think it works just fine. But these will look way better now. That's exactly what my jeans were missing. Pink, lightning, <sighs> yep. My jeans. If you enjoyed me trying out some TikTok art trends or you have one in mind that you'd like to see me try, drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed the bleach and you wanna see more bleach airbrushing, check out this video right here. We'll see you on the next one. God bless. Just discovered planning, 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 fart. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Know that a couple videos goes, video goes, oh my gosh. You're an idiot. Pinky dink, no fart. Learned how to airbrush, no. Not to, mm-hmm. Ah, shoot. We got, bro, these words, bro. <clears throat> it is 11 o'clock at night. Give me a break.